Hello students and welcome to all in my class. Children, uh, through this video today I am going to explain how should we find the mean of group data by using step TVS method. Okay, this is the observation given. This is the class interval and this is the effort. Okay, this is the frequency. So here uh, we have uh, how many columns are here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, in the first column. The class interval and in the second column frequency in the third column this is x i x i means class mark okay this is the for class mark and this is for uh, di here di is what di is the division x i minus a and here u i is equal to x i minus a upon h here h is the class size and a is the assumed mean okay so f i into u i so this is the formula for finding the mean of a group data by using step division method. Here x bar is the mean of the given data. A plus h into summation of f and u i upon summation of f. Here first I am going to find the class <coughs> mark. Okay. Here 10 to 25. It will become uh, the sum of this and this will be 35, 35 by 17.5. 17.5. Next. We will add uh, 15, okay? So it will become 15, 32.5. Okay, next one 47.5. 32.5 plus 15. Here 15 is the class size, okay? 47 plus 15. It will become 62.5. Now the next 62.5 plus 15, 77.5. In the next one, 77.5 plus 15, 92.5. Now I am going to take a uh, assumed mean here. Suppose this is an assumed mean. Okay, this is assumed mean. Here for assumed mean. Now I am going to uh, use this table. X i minus k. X i is 17.5. 17.5 minus 47.5. It will become minus 30. Okay. Next one. Uh, 32.5 minus 47.5 minus 15. In the next 47.5 minus 47.5, 0. 62.5 minus 47.5, 15. 77.5 minus 62. Point, uh, minus 47.5, it will become 30. Now, in last one, 92.5 minus 47.5, it will become 45. Okay, children? Now, in the next column, Ui, here Ui is what? Ui is the Xi minus A upon H. Xi, Xi is 17.5 minus 17.5. Okay. And minus A. Minus A. Here Xi minus A, this is the value. Xi minus A is all these values are the Xi minus A. Here if you will divide this observation by the class size. The class size is 15. Because the difference between the lower limit and the upper limit is 15. So it will become what? X i minus a upon 15 it will become minus 2. Minus 1. 0. 1, 2, 3. 45 divided by 15 it will become 3. Now in the, uh, next one f i into u i. f i is 2 and u i is this. Now I am going to find the product of this column to this column of the corresponding elements. Okay. 2 into minus 2. It will become minus 4. 3 multiplied by minus 1, minus 3, 7 multiplied by 0, 0, 6 multiplied by 1, 6, 6 multiplied by 2, 12, 6 multiplied by 3, 18. Okay. Now I am going to find the sum. Sum of frequency and total frequency. Okay, here. here the frequency 2 plus 3, 5, 5 plus 7, 12, 12 plus 18, 30. Here, this is the summation of that 5 is equal to 30. Now, in the next column, in this column, I am going to find the summation of that 5 in one is equal to 18 plus 12, 30. 30 plus 6, 36. 36 minus 7. It will become 29. Here, 29 is the sum of 29 is the sum of all these observations. Okay, gentlemen? Now I am going to find the mean. Mean of this uh, given observations. 
here this is the formula for finding the mean of the group data by using the step deviation method. Here x bar is equal to a. Here a is what? A is the assumed mean. This is the a. Okay. 47.5 plus x. x is what? x is the class size. 25 minus 10. Here the class size is 50. So in place of x, we will write 50. 50 multiplied by summation of f i u y. Here summation of f i u y is 29. 29 upon 30 because the value of fi is 47 uh, fi summation of fi is 30 okay now we are going to let us see this form 15 minus 15 47.5 plus this will become 40.5 uh, okay 5 plus 5 10 4 plus 7 11 11 plus 1 12 4 plus 1, 5, 5 plus 1, 6. This is the mean, this is the required mean of this algorithm. So, children, uh, okay, thank you, this is the required mean. Thank you, thanks so much.